Now to this disturbing and worrying story. Women in, south, in, in the south coast of KwaZulu-Natal have given up hope in the fight against gender-based violence. The area of Umtualume is known for harrowing cases of violence against women and children, and victims feel neglected as their cases go unnoticed. A family who lost their loved ones through the scourge have spoken out in the aftermath of their deaths and seeing one of their killers walking free ENCA's Leti Wimploli reports. The Duba family lost two loved ones through gender-based violence. Nelisiwe Dube is one of the six women whose bodies were found in a sugarcane field murdered by a serial killer who terrorized the area in 2020. The family also lost Nobu Lengiba, a mother of two young children who was murdered by her partner. The family says in both these cases, there was no justice for their loved ones. They shared how authorities turned them away when they tried to report their loved ones missing. Ngiba says when her daughter was murdered by her partner, he handed himself over to the police, but a month later, they saw him walking in the streets a free man. An activist in the South Coast says there's always random murders in these communities, with the bodies of women discovered in various places all the time. Our department, our women, our wins the community has given up hope, saying both government and the justice system has failed them. The Social Development Department held a meeting with community leaders such as Izinduna and Amakosi in Umzumbe. The meeting was aimed at implementing measures to combat GPV, but Amakosi say they don't have the resources to help fight the scourge. We don't have enough power because uh, the perpetrator uh, will be after being reported to the police, the person will be lying around and uh, <laughs> roaming around the area. Uh, the police also don't uh, arrest people of that kind. Uh, we don't have enough resources because if you want to keep those people and uh, teach them together, we need to provide them with everything, accommodation. Meanwhile, the department says Amakosi play a crucial role in combating crime in rural areas. But there are instances where cases of GPV are not taken seriously and perpetrators are made to pay a penalty instead of being arrested. Because of the challenges, you know, that people have, particularly around poverty, you will find families, you know, allowing such things to happen. So we want to bring them on board and be able to ensure that we are able to make it aware to them that uh, this is not allowed. According to the latest police stats, KwaZulu Natal recorded over 2,000 rape cases between January and March this year while the province is also leading the murder rates with nearly 1,600 killings recorded in the same time period. Letiwe Mluli, Umzumbe, KwaZulu-Natal.